Hey guys, Monkey from Board Gamer here. We're here today with some Star Citizen news. Every week we're going to be doing Star Citizen news from now on, just updating you what's been going on, what CIG have said, stuff with um, Temp for the Chairman, all that sort of jazz, just things you might not have heard or you have heard. I don't know, just listen. So, Star Citizen are going to implement VAT on the international site. So, from the 1st of February, anyone that purchases from the international site will have to pay VAT. Um, but to counteract that, they're having a sale starting the 26th of January that's going to be a mixture of Wave 2 ships uh, and limited editions. Limited editions? Ships? Um, I can't say edition for some reason or limited today. Uh, so, we're likely to see a small amount of Idrises on sale again. Just a very small amount, probably. Um, like probably 200 I'd say. Uh, Wave 2 ships were ships like the uh, M50, Cutlass Gladiator, Starfarer Retaliator, Caterpillar, uh, I think the Idris is one, uh, the ship I can't say the name of, the Cathral Al, something like that. Uh, the, the one with all the thrusters that moves about. Uh, the Banu Matchman and I think the Mustangs were also um, Wave 2. Um, so we're likely to see a lot of them uh, on sale again. Um, so it's a great time if you haven't made up your mind what ship to purchase try and make it up for VATs implemented because otherwise you're going to be spending more money and you don't want that you want to get in as cheap as possible because even if you want to support this game you can buy more ships and support the same value you see what I mean um, also currently the test driving of the Mustangs uh, is currently available all the Mustangs are available in your hangar to test drive until the 23rd of January so you've only got a few days left um, Getting, getting them. The Delta is actually a pretty damn good fighter. So uh, have, have a bit of a play with them. Uh, we're almost at 70 million of crowdfunding for Star Citizen. Now that is a lot of money. That is insane. That I think this is the most crowdfunded, well I know it's the most crowdfunded thing of all time. And um, the problem with that is, is that I was quite enjoying the little updates they were doing, the little stretch goals they were doing every million. They haven't done that since 65 million, which was the ship modularity stuff. So Hopefully they're going to start doing that again. There's 5 million from, I'd say, our pockets. Um, some of our pockets gone into the recent amounts. And we've all contributed to this. I want those little stretch goals. I like them. So hopefully they'll start doing them again. Um, loads more people have joined the Star Citizen community over Christmas. That's a mixture because of the sales, because they were bored, because they've just picked up on this amazing, huge cry engine game. Um, so welcome, guys that are, are new. And... Uh, but other people, there's loads more people for us to play with. It's going to be great. So, Operation Pitchfork. Now, I'm going to do a big video about Operation Pitchfork and actually follow this, um, probably monthly or something. It is going to be a large group of players that, at the end of the Persistent Universe beta, invade Vandal space. The idea is to all die and do something epic at the end of the beta that will possibly affect game lore. Um, it's Operation Pitchfork, there's an organisation for it, pretty much anyone can join, uh, as long as they're not a troll, basically. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. Um, I will do a big, an actual own video about that, because it's, there's quite a lot going on there. Um, but check that out if you haven't already, just literally search on the RSI um, website, uh, Operation Pitchfork, or even Google, and you'll find it now. Um, physical items are back for a limited time, um, basically until January 31st. So that's... Uh, stuff like the system map, you can get a printed out system map. Um, that's going to be cool. There's some cool stuff there if you want physical stuff. I'm not a massive fan of actual physical items for this kind of game. I'll make my own. If I desperately want something like that, I'll make my own map. Um, but people that desperately want official merchandise, get it. Get it now. It's your last kind of chance to get that kind of physical merchandise. Um, so some notes from 10 for the Chairman. Um, it's only going to be some of them, it's the ones that I was interested in, so <laughs> these kind of news broadcasts aren't going to be very um, based on my opinions and what I think is interesting, so apologies if I miss anything that you're like, oh, I want to know about that. Um, so the Arena Commander patch is going to be this week, and this will also include the new subscriber flare as well that come in with that patch. Um, they're going to fix Vandal Swarm Carp with the patch. It's going to be awesome. They're going to be rebalancing missiles uh, and countermeasures so that missiles will be fun and useful. That's a quote from Chris Roberts there. Um, there's going to be new items as well. They're going to be implementing um, so like weapons and things that are going to be available in that uh, shop. They're also going to um, possibly think about uh, allowing people to melt down stuff they've bought with UEC uh, from the Voyager Direct shop. So um, we don't know yet. Hopefully they will. I hope they do. Um, 
capital ships are going to be very modular. So there is possibility that you might be able to convert an Idris into a mining ship, say. That was one of the exam unconfirmed examples that Chris Roberts gave. Um, but the modular system is going to be great. It's going to allow you to literally um, add more space into your ships. Hopefully you'll be able to get stuff like extra hangar bays. You'll go, oh, my Idris, I want to turn it into a... Uh, 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 blah, 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 blah. A uh, flight ship, a uh, flight ship. I've got my Idris, I'm going to turn it into a carrier. So I can literally chuck loads of um, extra hangers in. That would be cool. I mean, that's hopefully what they do. Don't know if that's what they can do, but that's the sort of thing they've got in mind. Um, most trading is going to be done uh, in manifest. So in Windows, like think of Eve. So when you land on the planet, your, um, your cargo, most of your cargoes and stuff like that, you'll just be able to sell literally from a manifest list. We thought that anyway. We thought that was going to be simple like that. There's going to be trade missions and there's going to be drop-off missions, which are going to be done differently where you have to like drop cargo off from a car and you put the, load the cargo onto your car and drive off to an outpost. So there's going to be some stuff like that, but that's going to be more mission-based rather than I want to sell things. I'll sell them in a market. Um, Banu, alien currencies and that sort of stuff. If you go and trade with aliens, they will have their own currencies, but everything will be dealt with in UAC. There'll be a, an automatic transfer currency. Um, so I hope that's been interesting guys uh, that's all I know for news this week uh, please take care try and grab yourself something in the cell if you haven't already backed and if you are looking for like an Idris or an, uh, one of the limited edition upgrades hopefully we'll see some more of the um, Super Hornets on sale stuff like that because people have now seen how amazing those Super Hornets are um, so hopefully we'll see those limited edition sales and limited upgrades and stuff on the sale again you take care guys same time next week um, I'm going to start doing lots more Star Citizen content again. I had that Evolve weekend. I love CryEngine games. I think they're beautiful. Uh, and uh, obviously we're going to be doing lots of Evolve-based content as well. We've got giveaway for Evolve PC Monster Race at the moment. And we also have that 325A giveaway um, for Star Citizen. So please check that out. Details in the description at the bottom. See you later, guys. You take care. Bye.